What are the roots of minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 4? And remember that when a problem is asking you for the roots, they're asking you for when this expression here is equal to 0. And there are two different ways we can approach this. We can either try to factor this, or we can use the quadratic formula, which will work in every case. And in this case, since it looks like it'd be fairly difficult to factor, we can go right ahead and use the quadratic formula. So we have x is equal to minus the coefficient on the x term, so minus 3 plus or minus the square root of this same coefficient squared, so 3 squared minus 4 times the coefficient on the x squared, which is minus 3, multiplied by the constant term, which is minus 4. And then this is all divided by twice the coefficient on the x squared term, so minus 3. Now we just have to simplify this. So rewriting this, we have that x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 9. And then we have three negatives, so we'll be left with one negative. And then 4 times 3 is 12, times 4 is 48. And then this is divided by minus 6. And we can again simplify this as minus 3 plus or minus the square root 9 minus 48 is minus 39 divided by minus 6. And the square root of minus 39 can be rewritten as the square root of minus 1 times the square root of 39. So now rewriting our equation again. This is minus 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 1, which we know is just i. So it would be i times the square root of 39, all divided by minus 6. So our two roots are now minus 3 plus i root 39 divided by minus 6, and minus 3 minus i times the square root of 39 divided by minus 6. And you can simplify this a little bit further. So we have, in the left one, minus 3 divided by minus 6 is just 1 half. And then we have i root 39 divided by minus 6. So that's minus i root 39 over 6. And for the right one, since we have minus 3 minus i root 39 divided by a negative, all of this becomes positive. And 3 divided by 6 is 1 half, so we have 1 half plus i root 39 divided by 6. And these are our two roots of that original quadratic.